strings are sequences. A sequence is a series of items. So a string is a series of characters. String keep track of their character through a position number called an index. The first character has an index of zero and the last character or item in the sequence has an index of the number of items minus one. The number of items is also considered the length of the sequence or the string. Let's look at this example. We have a string variable with the spam a lot value. This is a string of eight characters from index zero to index seven. And seven is the last valid index, which is equal to the length of the entire string, which is eight character minus one. Using indexes, we can access a single item from a string using the square bracket operator through the syntax, the variable name, square bracket, the value of the index. This is going to give us the item or character at this particular index of that string or sequence. In this example, we have the same string spam a lot with eight characters, valid index from zero to seven, which is eight minus one. A character at index two should be A. Character at index six should be O. Similarly, character at index 13 should be, 13 is actually a value that is greater than the last valid index, which is seven. So 13 is considered out of range which is an error in this case. Again, the valid indexes for a string or sequence is from zero to the length of the sequence minus one. If we use an index beyond the value of length minus one, we are going to get an out of range or out of bounds error. A typical mistake, for example, if the sequence has five items, the last valid index of the Sequence or the string should be four because five items are going to give us the index of zero, one, two, three, and four. Four is the last valid index of the last item in the sequence, not five. Slicing is a technique that allows us to get multiple items from a sequence or a string. With slicing, we use the same square bracket operator. However, we're going to be able to get multiple items from a string or a sequence instead of just a single item. Instead of using a single index value in the square bracket, we are having the start position and the end position of a slide. This allows us to get multiple items from the sequence starting at the star position or the star index up to, but not including, again, up to, but not including, not including the last N index or position. Let's go through an example. We are using the string spam a lot again. This one is a eight character length string with a valid index from zero to seven. So this is a slide from two to six. So we are starting at two, go up to, but not including six. So a slide from two to six should be A M A L. Another, another example, getting a slide from three to four, we starting at three, we go up to, but not including four. So our slide in this case is only the letter M. How about a slide from zero to seven? We start from zero, we go up to, but not including seven. So our slide from zero to seven will be the string or the substring S-P-A-M-A-L-O, spam a low. 
What if we want a whole string? Well, if we want a whole string, we can do a slide from zero to eight. How does it work? We start from zero, we go up to, but not including eight, which is seven is the last index. So we're gonna get the entire string. In cases where we don't know how long the string is. For example, when we are asking the user to type in an input and the user can type in the word hello, spam hello or anything else and we don't know exactly how long that string is. How are we going able to get a slide of the entire string? We can substitute the last index, which is the end position with this length function. The length function gonna return to us how many characters are there in that string. So for example, if we were to use this length function on our previous example, the spam a lot. Spam a lot length gonna be eight. So the slide from zero to eight gonna give us all the characters, including from zero up to seven, which is the entire word. A few other useful tricks for slicing. If we skip the start position, Python will use zero as a default start position. So this slice is equivalent to saying MSG square bracket zero colon three. We start from zero, we go up to, but not including three. So our slide is SPA. Another technique, if we are skipping or not including the end position, Python will assume the end position with the value of length as a default. So in this case, the syntax is equivalent to MSG square bracket four colon eight, which is length of this entire string. So starting from four, getting up to, but it's not including eight, we should get a L O T. We can also skip both the start and the end position. So in this case, Python will substitute or use zero as a default value for the first index and length as the second default value. And this again, gonna give us the entire string. The five function that we saw previously, this one returns the index of the first occurrence of whatever we are searching for. And if not found, it's gonna return minus one. Let's go through an example of the five function. In this case, we have a food variable, which is a string of the value fish space taco. This one has nine characters, or the length is nine, with the valid index from zero to eight. Executing the five functions when we are searching for the character C, it should return to us the index of the first occurrence of C, which is right here. So index variable should be seven in this case. Next, if we try to find the index of the space character, space is right here. So the index should be four in this case. How about this? What is the syntax? So in this case, we are looking at a slice of the variable food. So this is food. We have fish space taco in here, and we are trying to get a slide from index to colon something that is missing. So when you have a slice and the second value is missing, this one is the same thing as substituting the value of length for the second parameter. Index right now has a value of four. So four plus one is five for the start position. And the end position is length. And length, as we know, for food is nine. So this one is the slide of five to nine. Starting with five, getting up to, but not including nine. We should have taco as a slide from this food variable. So now our new food should have the value of Taco. Lastly, for sequences, we have two types of sequences. 
one that we can change a single item in the sequence, we call that type mutable sequences. And another one where we cannot change a single item, again, cannot change a single item in the sequence, and we call that type immutable. Strings happen to be immutable sequences. For a string, you can assign a value to a string. You can reassign the value, another value to a string. However, you cannot change a single item of the string. So for example, in this case, we are taking a look at the first index of the string word, which is the letter chi. You cannot reassign chi with something else. When you try to do this in Python, you're gonna get an error saying that the string object does not support item assignment because strings are immutable. You cannot change a single item of your string sequence. 